from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, August the 26th, 2021. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett's meeting today at the White House with U.S. President Joe Biden has been postponed. This due to the suicide terror bombing at Kabul airport in Afghanistan earlier today that left a number of fatalities and many injured, including reportedly American troops. Ynet reports that the Bennett-Biden meeting will take place tomorrow, Friday. Bennett yesterday met with U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby shared a readout from the meeting between the two. He said the leaders discussed the wide range of threats posed by Iran's nuclear program, support of terrorism, and maritime aggression. They agreed to cooperate on air and missile defense and countering unmanned aerial systems. Adding that Secretary Austin affirmed the United States' commitment to Israel's security and qualitative military edge. Bennett wrote of the sit-down afterwards, we discussed a number of regional, political, and security issues, chief among them ways to curb Iran's regional aggression and its progress on the nuclear program. After meeting with Austin, Bennett sat down with U.S. Secretary of State Blinken, reiterating the importance of the U.S.-Israel relationship and partnership. Israel has no stronger and more reliable ally than the United States of America. Uh, from our inception and uh, to this day, especially these days, you're always with us, you have our back, and that uh, matters a lot to us. Um, I can ensure you that uh, you'll find no friend which is more reliable and appreciative uh, than us. Uh, I bring from Israel a new spirit, a spirit of uh, folks who sometimes harbor different opinions but work together in cooperation, in goodwill, in a spirit of unity, and we work hard to find the common things that we do agree upon and move forward on it. Uh, and it. And it seems to be working. And this is the same spirit that, you know, I want to bring to our relationship of uh, cooperation, of goodwill, of, uh, of friendship. Bennett said he and Blinken would be talking about a bunch of issues, primarily how do we fend off and curtail Iran's pursuit to dominate the region and its race to a nuclear weapon, as well as regional stability and climate change. Blinken reciprocated the goodwill. Our two countries working together have a very uh, important and very powerful uh, common agenda, and our commitment to uh, that partnership, to Israel's security, is uh, and always will be uh, unshakable. Blinken also mentioned the deep concerns about Iran that both countries share, challenges of the relationship with the Palestinians, and his hopes for building upon the new relations that Israel has established since and with the signing of the Abraham Accords. Reuters reports that Israel's chief rabbinate has expressed deep concern over remarks made recently by Pope Francis about the Torah, Jewish law. In a general audience on August the 11th, the pontiff said in part that the Mosaic law, the law of Moses, does not give life. Those who seek life need to look to the promise and to its fulfillment in Christ. In a letter cited to have been seen by Reuters from the chair of the Chief Rabbinate's Commission for Interreligious Affairs, Rabbi Ratzon Arusi, to Cardinal Kurt Koch, who leads the Vatican's Department on Jewish Relations, the rabbi is cited to have written that in his homily, the Pope presents the Christian faith as not just superseding the Torah, but asserts that the latter no longer gives life, implying that Jewish religious practice in the present era is rendered obsolete. Arusi asks Koch to convey our distress to Pope Francis and ask that he act to ensure that any derogatory conclusions drawn from this homily are clearly repudiated. Koch's office told Reuters that he was considering the letter seriously and reflecting on a response. 
Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, August the 26th at 7 o'clock. It's Talmud Study, followed by the Jake Ehrenreich Show with guests Tova Felchu and others. Then at 9, a backstage interview with Felchu from her one-woman play, My Name is Golda. And at 10, the first annual inductions of the Manhattan Jewish Hall of Fame honors Felchu, among others. And coming up next, Eli Kohanim's conversations in Guatemala with former President Jimmy Morales and former Minister of Foreign Affairs Sandra Jovell about the decision to move Guatemala's embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and more. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, August the 26th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.